Hey everyone, my name is Steph Smith and I'm a French horn player. And about five years ago, I developed a playing disorder that was literally devastating to my horn playing. And I honestly thought I was never going to be able to play again. Um, what happened was my tongue, when I would go to play, would literally get stuck to the roof of my mouth or to the um, to my teeth and I would go to release it and it would literally not move and because of that it would literally trap all of this air inside of my body and it felt like I was suffocating which is not a good feeling uh, especially when you're trying to play your instrument um, and this problem it didn't manifest itself uh, right away. Uh, it started as like a slight hesitation or it started as a double articulation, like a stutter. And eventually it, you know, manifested into this total block where I couldn't let go of any air at all. And it started in the high register then it switched and went into the low register, and then eventually it just covered the entire range of the instrument. And at the time, I had no idea what to do. I went to ask, you know, all of my teachers, anyone that I could ask, Alexander, technicians. Um, I've done literally so much <laughs> research on why this is happening and what happened to me. And I even went the medical route. I had like the best team of doctors. Um, oh my gosh. I had speech pathologists. I went to see if I had focal dystonia. I uh, had an otolaryngologist. It was <laughs> a lot. And you know, no one could really offer any help because they just didn't know what it was. And they thought, um, if it was focal dystonia, that it was like a brownout version, not like a blackout version where it's like totally there. It's like, it's there sometimes, but not always. <laughs> um, and I was actually playing a lot during this time, which was super, super stressful. Um, we were playing some really extensive repertoire like Ein Heldenleben and Mahler II and Don Quixote. And I was forced to actually play all this music with using only breath attacks because that was the only way that I could articulate after. So I would have a breath attack and then I was able to use my tongue after that, but not for any of the first notes at all. <laughs> um, so my stress level was at an all time high and it really took me five years. I went through this entire journey to figure out how to fix this and I can honestly say that it was the hardest time of my life. I felt the most alone, um, which is really sad to say, but it's true because no one knew how to help me and I felt like I had this whole problem all by myself. So I've come out on the other side and I can honestly say that I fixed my playing 100%. And I've actually learned now that I am not the only one that has this issue at all and that it's actually fairly common. Um, it's just really not talked about because people don't want to, you know, ruin their reputation by saying that they have this issue or they want to get hired for gigs. They don't want to tell anyone. So um, I know a lot of people can relate to this because I have actually, since fixing this, have had people ask me. Uh, to help them. And so I've helped a, f a few horn players and actually a tuba player, which <laughs> is pretty cool. Um, and so I just wanted to, you know, take this time. I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to say, um, to talk about this issue and to say that if you relate to my story at all, you're absolutely not alone, <laughs> first of all, because I felt really alone and I just want to let you know you can get through this. This is not the end of your career. Um, and I also wanted to take this opportunity to say that is, this is an actually wonderful time to try to work out some of these issues because um, I was trying to work it out while playing all this really difficult repertoire and it wasn't until I was able to take a break and stop 
that I was actually able to overcome it. And so even though it's super sad that no one's performing right now, uh, it's actually a really good opportunity to, tr to try to work out some of these issues if you have them. Um, so I just wanted to present this as an opportunity for you to reach out to me, uh, give me a private message if you know you relate to this story at all. I would uh, really like to help you out if I can. Thanks.